Welcome back to the Mayorverse, everybody. Mayor Reynolds, a.k.a. Midnight Mayor here. Today we are previewing a very promising and exciting upcoming game called Mullet Mad Jack. And I almost got the name of this game wrong like 10 times, but it's actually Mullet Mad Jack. And if you've seen a preview for this game, you're going to instantly know if you're going to like it. It's a 90s inspired, anime inspired retro fps very fast paced but what i found when i played it is that there were elements even though i love the style there were elements to the gameplay that i didn't even know about which had me even more hooked so let's take a look what you're looking at is gameplay that i recorded myself during some of my time with mullet mad jack and this game as you can see is heavily and it's basically an anime fps if imagine an old school like 90s anime fps but turned into a first person shooter but there's actually rogue elements to this as well, which gave it a lot of replayability. And again, this is not a finished build. I am playing essentially a test build. I don't believe it has a release date yet. But the basic premise is you're this very 90s, uh, 80s, 90s inspired uh, dude. And it's also kind of the story and setup kind of remind me of that movie Crank with Jason Statham, which I never watched, but it kind of reminds me of that, where uh, basically the whole world is like, society is live streamed everybody needs dopamine to survive crazy amounts like attention spans are like zero so they have these live streams where you're randomly selected and you have to give people dopamine hits every 10 seconds at least or you die that that's that's the point of the game so in order to do this there's an influencer princess who has been uh kidnapped and taken to this big plaza which is a total reference to die hard it's called it's not uh Nakatomi Plaza, it's it's something else, but it's very, very similar. And there's 90s and 80s and 90s references all throughout this game. Um, and I haven't even played the whole thing, but it's 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 chalk full of them. Uh, but once you get into the game itself, the mechanics are very straightforward. You know, you got your gunplay, you have like a dodge, there's a there's an execution type uh when you find an item in the environment, like an axe or a knife or whatever, and you get close, you can right click and you can actually execute enemies with it. You'll see it here in my gameplay. Uh, a bit there's a kick uh there's, it's very tight corridors for the most part there's these sliding sequences i haven't seen a ton of enemies yet the, they're robots uh there's soda for health as you just saw on the screen there i've seen a revolver uh a sword and an uzi uh i feel like there's a couple weapons that i'm forgetting but then in between every single level uh you get to pick new powers like and it, that's what makes every single run different the, you know you finish one level which only to each level takes like a minute or less it's it's very very quick very fast paced very twitchy and uh you, know, you could die at any given moment i honestly die right now at least in my inexperience playing this game uh i die to like environmental hazards a lot more uh than than the actual enemies interestingly enough there's like pools of like things that electrocute you and stuff you have to jump over and you just kind of move so fast like i just walked through one right there you're moving so fast you're trying to move on and kill enemies to, to add time to the timer that's how you play the game um at, that you just kind of walk into them sometimes and that's going to be the trick i do think they could make um those uh hazards a little more noticeable uh in my opinion but it, you learn it pretty quick you, you figure it out here again you're seeing the revolver on screen here's the kicker uh, if you die at any point within the your, within the te first 10 levels, think of it as this. Levels 1 through 10 are all one big chunk. If you die in levels 1 through 10, you go back to level 1. So if you make it to level 8, you're killing enemies to add time to your timer. You're finishing the levels. Uh, and the, the levels seem... I'm not positive about this. They seem procedurally generated to an extent. They seem random. Like, level 1 isn't always level 1 and so on, unless I just have a really bad memory and you move so fast in this game that uh, I, I couldn't remember. Um, but like I said, if you die at any point, if you get to level eight and then you die, you go back to level one. If you make it to level 10 and you finish it, then you move on to level 11 and, and so on and so forth. Uh, the next chunk of 10 floors, I guess I should say. Uh, the cool thing is, and I, I was concerned about this because it's so fast paced, is there gonna be any point where you get like, you know, a change of pace because like, I guess there was references to bosses here and uh you do so every well I can't say because I haven't made it all the way through the game but the 10th level at least and I imagine it's every 10 levels the live stream uh like dies you know so that that's kind of the story 
and so the timer goes away and now you have you have a boss to fight and those bosses have different mechanics than the basic enemies of course but there's no timer it's a change of pace all of a sudden instead of having to sprint forward and shoot 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 it slows down and they can design a different type of encounter which i think is very very wise i'm i'm curious to see you know how uh how many different bosses they they include how the what the designs are because the style of this game is really cool let's be honest if you watch a trailer for this game you're gonna know right away if you're gonna like this game like like you don't really need to decide right if you watch a trailer and you're like this game looks sick you're gonna like it it's gonna be sick it's gonna be worth your money i guarantee you if you watch it and you don't get it um I, I guess that is what it is. You're going to know if you're going to like it. it. It's full of 80s and 90s references, and it has a very anime style. It's so on the nose. Uh, the fast-paced gunplay, the colors, um, this one sells itself, guys. So if you're thinking about picking up Mullet Mad Jack when it drops, it gets my stamp of approval. Play it, enjoy it, support the team, support the style. It's, uh, it's pretty much one of a kind. So if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel, like it, Leave your thoughts on Mullet Mad Jack down below, and I'm gonna leave some gameplay going for you guys here so you can watch it with the actual music that's in the game. I think you'll very, very, very much appreciate it. The voiceover, all that stuff. I've been playing music uh, for you guys. So enjoy this unadulterated gameplay of Mullet Mad Jack. Subscribe to the channel and come check out my channel dedicated exclusively to Dead Drop and Midnight Society, where I'm making all sorts of videos about the game, but also a live action series, all right? Midnight Mayor, Mayor Reynolds, out.
This video is sponsored by G Fuel. Use code MARE at any time to get 20% off your order at G Fuel on gfuel.com or the G Fuel app. Just go to the website, select one of their many, many, many amazing flavors in both tubs, cans, G Fuel hydration, whatever G Fuel products you want. Use code MARE at checkout to get 20% off. I guarantee you, you're going to feel hyped when you drink G Fuel. Come watch my streams if you need any more evidence of that. Get some G Fuel today. Use code MARE for 20% off. And thanks to G Fuel for sponsoring all of our content.